is it a good idea to give an LLM access to the real world and like turn things on and off? Isn't that kind of like a, giving a Raptor access to door locks? Today, Goliath announced something called Tiny MCP. This is a thing that lives on your local machine. It's a Go server that basically interacts with remote procedure calls. So not that different than before. If you don't know what MCP is, well, join the club. Uh, it's model context protocol. It's basically how these big AI models can talk to other stuff. So our goal is to allow you to publish what's actually available on your devices. If you want it to be nothing, of course, nothing is also an option. Uh, and it's also gonna be if you have a set of RPCs, you can actually have, uh, as you version your firmware, you might have different capabilities enabled or disabled as a result. So let's take a look at what that looks like. All right, so this is the device we're looking at here. This is the NRF9160DK. It is actually currently running on my desk right there. And it, if we look at the schema, about, hey, what, these are the things that I can do. This is the tool listing that the server is going to translate into uh, the available remote procedure calls that are on the device here. So what we're basically saying is that light on and light off are two RPCs, but we're publishing it in LightDB state as a schema so that we can actually parse that later. This is the device after it started. Up here, this is where we're gonna run the server. So I'm gonna just say, go run server. You see it's uh, talking to the cloud. It's running on port 8080. That's the local local server here. And then I'm gonna go and actually run uh, Claude here. And I'm gonna run slash MCP. We see that we are connected. So this is basically from uh, locally on the machine. And here are the two tools that we have available to us. All right, let's add in our board so we can just see it happening here. All right, so we just ask in plain terms, can you turn the light off? Now it's actually gonna go talk to the, actually goes talks to the cloud, cloud servers to actually interact. It then gives me a prompt here and I could say, actually don't, don't ask me that anymore. And I'm gonna say, yeah, let's go watch this LED right here. And it called it. <laughs> Same thing here, we could see that uh, both in the top uh, panel, we could see that it, it had the server interacted and the bottom panel, which you cannot see, uh, we could see that it actually has that interaction happening there. And then finally, if we go back here, we can just say, okay, back on now. So really this is tooling for you to imagine what you'd wanna do. It could be something really simple, like, hey, when my CI build fails, you know, honk a horn and turn on a red LED to tell me that something went wrong. Or it could be something really complex, interacting with the entire fleet of Goliath devices that are out there. That's really up to you. This is new tooling that you can run locally and still talk to the REST API. All of this is built on top of Goliath capabilities, both in our SDK and things like remote procedure calls that we use for things every single day. Now the MCP, tiny MCP is acting as kind of a shim layer on top of that and enabling new things and talking out to other, other services like an LLM. If you have more, uh, more questions, go check out the blog post down below and we'll see what you built.